what's up guys welcome back to another video this is going to be a linux video we are taking a look at vanilla os what i know uh vanilla os is basically ubuntu with the default gnome environment no snaps pre-installed no flat packs pre-installed and it uses a new format of installing apps which is pretty cool we're just going to do 64 bit like this and actually i need to i want to rename this vanilla os i haven't used it yet i'm hoping it's going to be good we're just going to customize our hardware real quick we'll one cpu we're gonna go to now nah, we don't need eight cores let's do six let's do all the way up to eight gigs we're going to enable 3d acceleration good and finish we're going to add the virtual machine because we're going to be turning on uefi right here and here we go this is my first time seeing this. And I'm trying to get out of the VM at the moment. I'm stuck. Isn't it that button? Yeah, okay, good. Because I need to see what we're doing. Okay, let's get rid of this. And hit enter. Now, I'm going to be doing this pretty much on cut. So we're just going to go from install to desktop. That's a fancy little boot logo. Look at that. All right. So what do we got? This is based on 22.10 Ubuntu, by the way. Oh. Is this GNOME 43? Uh, what does this say? If you are reading this, you are probably a tester or a developer. So thank you for your interest in vanilla OS. This is a beta version. I get that. No one issues. The installer may freeze. That's normal. That happens in Fedora as well. Ubuntu packages can't be installed from minimum software. That's fine. Uh, vanilla OS running on your computer live or not. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool that they have that open. Let's get us some display because currently this is too small. So we're going to go all the way up to. 1440p there we go that looks much better so in appearances oh they weren't kidding when they said it would freeze we're gonna go with dark because i know you guys look at the background that's a nice background want to check the console version or the um the kernel version uh, they're still on 5.19. Uh, you're using... What kind of console is this? It's got a different icon. So, photos. Vanilla OS Control Center. Loading drivers. By changes. This is interesting. So, we are getting... Yeah, cancel that. Uh, restore on reboot. Default mode. Subsystem. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the installer. Uh, kind of wondering what it's using at the moment. Uh, I wonder if it's using Claymore's. It is. Okay, so next. 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 Place the disk. Next. Yes. Done. Next. And install. Okay. Let's wait for this to finish installing and I'll be right back afterwards. Okay, so we're back and we're going to hit done. Should be restarting. And we're just going to hit this button. And yes, we're installed. Good. I don't know if it's automatically going to install the open VMware tools, but if it does... That will be great. If it doesn't, we'll do that real quick and I'll restart. Yeah, it's telling us the same thing. 
Let's start. Dark, please. Flat pack, snap pack, none. Mm -hmm. What is this? A poor just gonna crash. No, thank you. Enter our password. And we're not rebooting yet. I need to install open VM tools. We're going to be working with this. Now we will restart. See? Taking care of business every day. All right, so it boots up properly. And once again, this horrible thing pops up. Animations are at least smooth within the VM. It comes with God itself. Is notice software update. Thing this by default in the OS makes it a win. All right, so none of this is on. User themes are installed. Does this have its own custom theme? No, it doesn't, but it's nice that it's there. Let's see if we can pimp this real quick. Arc menu. Has what it needs for arc menu. Cool. Dash to dark. Correct. Look at this. Um, what else do we need? Let's add some blur. Fancy. Um, sound. No. Application. Volume. I think this is actually, yeah, I think it is. I think it's GNOME 43. Let's check. Oh, yeah, it's GNOME 43. I'm no longer impressed. That's just me, though. Sorry about that. Okay. And top icon, reload it. Um, that's it. Now we're going to open up Just Perfection. I always do this in every single video. It's sort of me just showing how easy it is. To customize things the way that you want. Because I know everybody has their own little way that they do things. Mine's like this. 32. And that's it for there. I think it broke something. Yeah, I did. I broke something. See it? Maybe I can fix this. I don't think it likes being adjusted anymore. All right, so right here. I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna go back to customize. Oh, it's just this one. Okay, okay. That works for me. Well, there we go. It's very clear that I could whore it out pretty quick. But I like calling it. Uh, browse icons, distro icons. There's no V. And I'm not using Ubuntu's. Because that would be a disgrace. Going with this one. It's not a V either. Hmm. There. Perfect. This looks great. Alright, so sudo apt install discord. No, it's not going to install discord like that. Let's go grab the dot dev. Discord dot. Um, download for Linux. Uh, 
No, it doesn't want to open open with software install. Install. And it worked. Okay, so we have software install using GNOME. Uh, that should be automatically set to default. I don't get why it's not. Now it should be. It is. Good. I like this. This is pretty cool. I've already got it pimped out too, which makes me very happy. Now we're going to be trying this. Oof. Yeah, if yours does this, the brightness all the way up. You want to bring this down. And you want to head over here. Set this to dark if you can. May not work. But, yeah. It's usually how it does it. And if it's still too light for you, you can always go uh, into here. In appearance and just... Do that, I guess. Just do something like that. There we go. Not bad. What about the Neo Fetch? No. Okay, sudo apt install. Neo Fetch password. Yes. <clears throat> Seems to have its own theme right here. That's cool. And it went away. Clear. Neo fetch. No, it doesn't have a logo yet. Yeah. Not bad though. Looks good. Anyway, guys, um, as you saw throughout the setup, you can use snaps you can use flat packs you could use pretty much anything you want as i said there is another way to install applications except i forgot what it's called i should probably look at that real quick i do have it i had it here history aha here we are go to os Built locally. It's not it. There's a website here, I think. There it is. So you can get access. What is it? Uh, Vanilla OS is an Ubuntu Linux based point release distributed that receives updates at the right time, neither before or nor after, with, you know, doing a bunch of stuff for functionality. There's work. Uh, there's gaming, even though there's no gaming-oriented drivers, like, or gaming-oriented kernels. We could do that with Xanmod. Really, that's not complete. Rayo Jinx isn't here. Choice. So, flat pack, snap packed, act image. And I forget what the other one was. Immutable, but not also... So it's read only to prevent unwanted changes and corrupted from third party applications. So maybe it will prevent. Oh, look at that. APX install. Okay. All right, let's try that. Ready? APX install Discord. Hmm. Cider? Lame? Um, I don't know. All right, H top. Yeah. But it did that. All right, well, let's try Git. Okay, maybe they'll get that working in the future and open source and frequently asked questions so i'm going to leave their discord in the description below as well as the website you guys can go check it out but uh 
I'll have to do some more testing on this, but this seems to be really nice so far. I mean, it's got its own driver control center, which is pretty cool. And, you know, you can choose read-only mode, turn that off if you want it to, subsystem installed applications. Doesn't come with Firefox or Google, so it hasn't made a choice yet. Not a bad little operating system. And it's so bare bones. Look at this. What about this? Yeah. Not bad. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe, share all that stuff, you know, and I'll see you guys next time.